The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm super excited about sharing some rare Pong items that I recently came across on an eBay auction. I reached out to some mega collectors to get some information, there wasn't much, and I'm super happy to talk about these on my channel, as well as talk about Sears Telegames' first release Pong unit. 1975, let's check it out. All right. Before I get to the rare items that I scored, I wanted to do an overview of Sears Telegames. And this is kind of my collection of items I have for this particular model. I do have a couple boxed. One is jacked and one is not. So here we go. It has the original foam inside. It also came with a TV game switch. The other cool thing about old Pong units is that they ran on batteries. You'd have to purchase, that's right, the AC adapter, also known as a Pong battery eliminator, separately through Sears. And here you go, and this is the actual, what it looks like. They have this ending on it for the Sears one. I actually have two. And this came out before Atari's home console version in 1975. There was 150,000 units initially made in that first order. And this is what a, a typical Sears Telegames Pong, the first model. And these are pretty neat to have. You know, it's got some unique features on it. It was one of the first Sears items to have another brand that was marketed on an actual unit. So you have a Tari, little Tari switch there. That's kind of cool. The console itself took four D batteries. Nice clean compartment there. And this is a serial number that you would typically see on one of these Pong units. Typically starts with B, and this is B66561. But that's, that's not what I'm what's interesting about this so the first interesting thing and the least of the rare items i'm talking about today is this this is an early manual for a tel sears telegames pong and it's different because this was later it was later fixed so it says telegame instead of telegames i thought that was kind of interesting the normal manual flips out like this kind of your standard manual What's kind of neat about this one is it's it folds out. And so that's a really, that's cool. Now, of the things I'm talking about today, you can find these. They're, they're harder to get. They are getting harder. This was the first release Pong machines had this manual, okay? Not a big deal. Now this, is pretty interesting. I've been looking for one of these. I knew about it. I had seen a couple of these in collector's hands over my 30 year collection. Over my 30 year journey collecting Pong units. This is a Pong carrying case. And from what I've been told, this was not offered by Sears. This wasn't, this wasn't made by Sears Telegames. It was from a third party company. But I don't know the price of it. There's not a lot of information about it. Uh, several collectors out there, only a handful had even seen one of these, let alone have one in their collection. So I know they're out there. They are pretty hard to get. But the cool thing is what is inside this case. That's right. So I purchased this on eBay. And inside is this and you're like well what what's the big deal this is a variation that was not known about by hardly anybody and it's 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 very rare and it's one of the very first releases of the sears telegames pongs and it has a silver border on the outside of this these are extremely hard to find and as you can see showcase here that there is differences this does not have this is typically what you find you find one without the silver border 
And even on Pong Store, I was shocked that they didn't have any information about this. And so I posted this on Atari Age, and there was one that surfaced in 2010. And, you know, the other thing, too, is instead of starting the serial numbers with B, it has a serial number that starts with A. And so this is a very early model. This is serial number is A59277. And so this is, this is a very early model Pong machine. And so I thought it'd be show, cool to showcase this on my channel, as well as even just firing it up and showing people what did the very first, you know, home console licensed Pong machine look like. So I'm going to capture some footage and we'll check it out. And so here we go. All right. This is hands down probably the hokiest thing I've tried to get a clean signal on on my channel. I can't believe how clear it is. I had some connection issues, but here it is. This is the original 1975 Sears Telegames Silver Border. This is one of the first Pong units. From what research I've done and collaborations I've done with collectors, and it works great. This is a great reception. <laughs> I'm using a combination of like some aluminum foil, some tape, and I'm holding the connection piece to the VCR and I'm getting a great signal here. So I have the microphone because the sound actually comes out of the speaker on the actual unit. And so I'm going to try to just show you the, the big deal when this came out is that it had an electric score. It had an electronic score. Keep, it kept score electronically on the actual screen so you press this and you go here and it's got hope i don't even know if you can hear it but yeah it's all right one zero really really clean clean signal really excited about showing this on my channel but I wanted to show some gameplay footage and show, you know, this is this is what everybody was excited about. This came out, it was $100. Yep, $100. This came out at $100 and people were excited. Excited about, you know, playing Pong at home. Man, I love showing stuff like this on my channel. And I was really excited to actually see the unit work. The number one thing when it comes to collecting Pong units is checking the battery compartment. Oftentimes batteries are left in there, it's corroded, and I was really happy to see a nice clean battery compartment when I opened it up. And so I was happy I was able to capture footage, which was the craziest thing I've ever done on my channel, you know, using aluminum foil and tape and like holding the cable. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. <laughs> But I really love these Pong sh machines and I love the history that comes with them. And so really happy to showcase something that has rarely been seen, even though there was one that appeared, I guess, 10 years ago. Very few of these have survived. And so really nice to showcase a Pong variation on my channel. I would like to thank everybody for the ongoing continued support. It means the world to me. I'm super excited about doing many future videos ranging from Atari to Xbox. I love talking about the old and obscure, but I also cover things, Nintendo Switch games, Xbox games. I love covering it all, and I look forward to having a very diverse channel moving forward, talking about lots of different things. So, what did you think of this video? Comment below as I'd love to hear from you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel as I do frequent videos, three videos a week, including an occasional live stream. I look forward to seeing many of you in future videos. Your comments mean the world to me. This is the Immortal John Hancock. You take care. This Pong unit is 44 years old. It's older than me and it still works. Which brings up the question, how many current video game consoles are going to be 44 years old and still working? Hmm, that's a good question.